Welcome back again with me, Axel Key, and this is the gameplay for Boom Beach. And let's get started. The update was so hype yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, this is the new prototypes. There are two protos, hot pot, and also grapplers. And the difference is that grappler will grab your troops from far away, and instead pulling it away from your place positions, and then let your defenses hit it, and then poof, gone." That's the function of grappler, and the other one was the hotpot. Hotpot number one, two, and three. As like the other protos level, the number two, number three got like this much damage and health, so it will stay underground and then pops out when your troop get closer enough or in range. So these are the hypes that was on the forums and on the everywhere on the internet and as well for the Boom Beach players. And now I have tried several strategies against against the only grappler. And I want to show you the base first. Uh, this is my mate Young Daddy's base grappler number two. He put it right behind the headquarters and I think that's a nice strategy look at the grapplers range it's almost covered the whole base except the beach depends on where you place it where and the other one is the shock blaster and he is not an ice player alright so how about my stats I'm going to show you first this is my um, ice. I have one ice, one troop damage, 23 damage, and 33% of damage, 37, and the other is gunboat energy. So I'm going to try against his base friendly challenge. So first, would like to show you how grapplers works. So barrage on the shock blaster, and then boom cannon. That's what I think the threat was, but actually grappler, uh, you cannot underestimate the grappler. And there you go, boom cannon. My troops as always, tanks, grants and medics, deploy grants and try to take out the cannons, then the other grants. But I think that I deployed too much grants as one got hit and two more got hit by boom cannons. Deploy all, then flare it right at the defenses. Alright, critters. And now see, that is the movement of the grappler. Slowly, but let's get this done. Alright, grappler. That is number two grappler. So it's likely to be faster when uh, probably number three. Haven't tried it. Oh, it grabbed my thang. That is so scary. Thang got away. And wow, as those defenses get busy with the tank and also the grappler, that is freaking scary. Another tank was caught away by the grappler. So that's why you should be very careful when using tanks. And my grand got, all right, he got my, it got my grand really. And another critter were deployed there. It hooked up the attention of the grappler. There you go, I smoke my troops, but I think it won't last that long. Need to get rid of these cannons. Let's get this fast enough. Right, that's the grappler doing grab every single of my troops. I need to shock it, but unfortunately my shock is just not enough. It's like running for three shocks and then I'm running out of gunboat energy. So that's why you need to plan it very carefully. Again, scrapper, another grants were hit, and another one were taken away. Another tanks, uh, look at that, I smoke my tanks, and then, trying to save it, reflare back. At least one of the tanks is safe. I lost a few, like 5 grants, and then 2 tanks, and like 3 medics, I forgot the numbers. But at least, I think that's uh, lost a lot, half of my grants were gone. Alright, let's go against how I beat this base more efficiently. On the last part, I like have uh, only one casualty over here. Barrage on the biggest threat, that is the grappler. 
not the shock blaster but the traveler. Alright, artillery should save a lot and then deploy grants medics like the previous what I did and then I have destroyed boom cannons over here and over here and over here three boom cannons with artillery and more let's get over this fasten up All right two times speed and fly to the left let's go and clear over this area all right sniper tower down it's time to shock all the threats the main threats and then all right one of my grand is done because of this sniper tower but unfortunately i shot the shock blaster and then it got destroyed just in time so spreading out and the rest of the defenses is not really a threat all right it's just a matter of time before killing it four times speed and there we go it's much more efficient if we like killing the grappler first before getting the other defenses but depends on your troop i think rifleman will get caught but they are uh, strength in numbers and otherwise like hookahs or their troops you should pay attention really before losing your troops like tanks medics probably it would be a threat to those kinds of troops and then now let's see my little NPC base, just a bit of strategy. And after the update, uh, I think this is a small part of the update, and the bigger update will likely to come later on. So just deploy all tracks, tanks, grants, and mates. There we go. I clear up the right side first, as these two shock launcher will be. Uh, they are like annoying for grants, so I need to get rid of them first before everything else. Alright, barrages and as you like to see it, make your way to the headquarters and done. Now next on the inversion. This is quite a difficult base. I think it's the hardest NPC base that I have ever encountered. Because I lost like one medic and one grand over here one time speed two times speeds all right Flare it. at least put grants into the safest place shock this number tower and then i was like losing one grants and one medic killing the boom cannon slowly at the back with artilleries deploy critters and clear up the rest of the boom mines need to shock all of these in groups alright 4 times speed I think this will be done in easier way so I'll cut this base for today alright it was an awesome experience over the new protos and I think this is all of my gameplay for today and thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave thumbs up as always and goodbye